to serve. Fifteen left. talk about both players and the way they, they hold serve, right? You have Draper holding at 97%. He's held 35 and 36 service games. And then you have Mahach at 90%. He's held 36 of 40. So both players ruin, really doing a great job so far of taking care of their serves. Yeah, Mahach doesn't necessarily bring the heat no. on his serve, but he places it well and he backs it up so well. Has ideas about what he wants to do on the second ball. Okay, well, pretty good start. <laughs> yeah. First game. Make that 37 of 41. <laughs> yeah. He does very well on his serve. Yeah, won the gold medal alongside Katerina Siniakova. Sort of an interesting story. They were engaged, I believe, in Miami. Then they were dating, and then they weren't. So their personal story is still unfolding. Jack Draper to so all right, here's JD or Drapes, as he's known. <laughs> what do you call him? I call him. You guys are boys, right, Lee? Jack Draper. No, I, I'm friendly with a lot of the Brits. Yet to have the pleasure, though. Opening service game, he had to hit about three winners to yeah. get the point done. And, and I tell you, that's what Mahach does to you. Draper mm -hmm. obviously playing a great point there, but if you're going to have to do that to win a point every time, that's going to physically take a task on you. And Draper, again, obviously finishing that point off in style with a great forehand down the line, but that's what I mean with Mahach. He makes you earn every single point. was a Infino. remarkable service return. <laughs> Mahach was outside the Look at how far out the court he is. Yeah, he, he had to push off the, the side wall there. Let me play that around the post. Defense there from Draper. Again, the one shot actually that's 13, deceiving 15. from Mahach is he's got an unbelievable backhand down the line. 
he hasn't he hasn't changed direction there just yet but again he will mix it up and take it early and watch for him to really mix up his return to serve stance so far he's been going way back on the draper first serve How would you rate the Draper serve? I mean, I'd, it's, it's right up there, especially being lefty. It helps them that much more. Puts a lot of action on it. That's a good shot there from Hotch again. That's what he does so well. Is he realizes when the ball is short and he could turn that defense to offense so quickly. Neutralizes its return really deep middle. Sees the short ball, takes three steps in, and doesn't give Draper any time to recover. I mean, the thing with the Draper serve leaf is he disguises it so well with the ball toss, too. Especially on the ad side. He uses the same toss. He can go wide or tee. Dominates the ball so well, and you know, he's just six feet tall. But I, I get the sense he's strong. It's and it's effortless too. It doesn't look like he's exerting a lot on his ground strokes. But Mahach again, he just is, the depth that he had on that backhand has set himself up. Draper right now, you got to take that and run with it because you're not going to get a lot of freebies like that. Yeah, there's a look at the serve. And notice that flick of the wrist, yeah. a lot of spin there. He's got good snap at the top. He's got a really live arm Draper. And you can see it on the forehand too. The ball really jumps off his racket. I believe Draper might be asking about the big screen directly behind Mahach that it is showing live action there. And I wonder if he feels that's a distraction perhaps. Yeah, that and yeah, some of the some of the spectators walking around up there. But uh, we have that rule this year that they can walk freely on certain levels around the stadium. Yeah, that was a battle, that opening One service game. Percent. Draper, just 22 years of age, youngest player left in the tournament. So this is a wonderful, wonderful moment for him. Yeah. Taste of the big time. Draper does like to play most of his tennis from the backcourt. I mean, primarily, you know, most of the players do these days, but Mahach also 
efficient for the back. Who's got the advantage when these guys are both in the backcourt? The longer the point goes, I feel like it goes to Mahach in the long rallies. If Draper can shorten these points up, he definitely has more weapons. Uh, talking about weapons. Oh Mahach, again, when he's inside the baseline, that's when he's extremely dangerous because he can really move the ball around off both sides. And he holds his four into the last second. No chance there from Draper. First double fault is uh, Daniel Vacic, excellent player back in the day. Off the top of my head, I want to say Roland Garros doubles title alongside Yevgeny Kafelnikov. My memory serves me right. Very, very talented. Draper's starting to get onto it a little bit. He's giving himself a little bit more height on that forehand side, especially on the return, to try and give himself a little bit of time to get back into the point. Because if you hit the ball with a lot of pace and Mahach is inside the baseline, you're just going to be running nonstop. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Because you're always saying, well, if you hit the ball hard, you can gain an advantage in the rally. Yeah. But not necessarily so. Boy, yeah. that's a pretty good defensive lob. Yeah, so many players are so good at using the pace you create against you. It's going to be interesting to see how that develops in this one. Mahach, 2-1. It's a, a hazy, lazy Labor Day here in New York City. Some of the sights and sounds surrounding Arthur Ashe Stadium. You can put some bubbly in a very sophisticated looking mug. Jason Levine only drinks from those kinds of goblets <laughs> when he's following tennis like this. Cheers, Leaf. Cheers. All right, here's Jack Draper. 1-2, opening set. Something's got to give. Both these guys are advanced without losing a set. Oh! Both have won nine sets. Love 15. You've spoken about the Draper forehand. How, how's the Draper backhand? It's solid. I mean, again, the problem is that the Draper backhand is going to the Mahach forehand. So I look for Draper to try and maybe change direction a little earlier than comfortable with to try and get into the forehand to backhand rally there with Mahach. Yeah, 
That, that's one that worries me a little bit for Draper, right? If you're going to try and go back into forehand all day long. You saw him change direction a little bit earlier there to give himself a little bit of an advantage in the point. And then he gets a couple forehands in a row, and that's when Draper can really do some damage. Oh. 13, 15. I take 115 Draper slider down the tee okay. over his 128 okay. right at the Mahach forehand or backhand, right? It just keeps tailing away from you. Mahach had no play on that. And it looked effortless, that serve from Draper. 14, 15. Couple of aces for the Brit. And there's another. Two games old. Yeah, that's where he can be such a threat as a player because of these weapons he possesses. Great grass court player. That's really where he made his original breakthrough. Back in 2021, he got a wild card at the Queens Club. And his first win, funny enough, as we'll get to James Trotman. Excellent coach, job with him. He really has. He beat Yannick Sinner. 7-6, seven, 7-6. Six, seven, six. That was at the Queen's Club first round. And then he beat Sasha Bublik, 7-6, seven, 7-6, six, seven, six, to get to the quarterfinals. And at the time, he was outside the top 300. So I think there were indications that the future was bright for Jack Draper. Do you remember your first win? On the ATP level? Yeah. I do. Steve Darsis. Steve Darsis. Yeah. Did he beat uh, Rafa Nadal at Wimbledon? He did. He? Yeah. So he got an indirect over Nadal. <laughs> yes. I also have two <laughs> losses to him, too. 15, 15. And yeah, there's the forehand working again. Yeah, that was an impressive service game. Again, backing up the serve Matches, nicely three, off the ground. A couple of winners, percent. and that gives him a third game for 3-2. And we've been talking about the Draper forehand, and he does have that whippy snap to it. But Mahach, boy, impressive stuff off that forehand wing. Yeah, again, he, he can do pretty much anything off that side, and that's what makes him even more dangerous because he has the forearm where he can hit the heavy spin. He has the forearm where he can flatten it out. And he also has one that he can kind of hit that short angle off the court to really make his opponent stay on the move. So tricky side to go back into foreign if you're a Draper fan. And I think we'll see Draper starting to mix it up. He hasn't thrown in too many slice backhands to start. See if he gives Mahaj maybe a different look so that he has to lift the ball up and can get a look at a drive. Time. Yeah, how about this bird's eye view of the USDA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center, Ash Stadium on the left. We're in Armstrong Stadium. Obviously, both of them have roofs, so we can have continuous play no matter the conditions. But today, a beautiful Labor Day here in New York City, Queens. Crowds lining in to get into the tennis today. We're miles back. 15 miles. And I know, Jesse, we know from personal experience, you don't <laughs> want to be taking a car to this event. No. We were no. trapped in a long line of folks trying to get in. Like it's an exciting day. It's a no work day. You're at the U.S. Open. Beautiful day outside. Who wouldn't want to be here?
la discussion. Yeah, plenty of British fans in attendance following Draper. Was right outside our Sophie broadcast Lyle. booth. British television was setting up to report on all that Jack Draper was doing. There's uh, Leon Smith. He's the British Davis Cup captain. There's Tim Henman, a part of that broadcast team. Great champion. Forty love. slider out wide that's Three almost untouchable if you're Mahach you gotta guess there oh look who's Draper's box there yeah that's nice that's Anna Wintour yeah big tennis fan Boy, is she ever obviously a, a great fan of Roger Federer wherever Roger was playing it seemed like she was around to support him and maybe she's got a new one in Jack Draper interestingly enough Tatler magazine one of the big magazines in England said that Jack Draper he has a jawline sharper than a Stanley knife. So they are <laughs> there. This is one of the new golden boys of British tennis and British sporting culture. Touch, oh. touch, touch. <laughs> Another two Ladies and gentlemen, the ball came off Mr. Yeah. Traper's body. Yeah, it hit his body. That's, no not good. A, that's not allowed in tennis. Therefore, the point goes to Mr. <laughs> good job there from the umpire. 15 love. Yeah. Umpire Blom, just to clarifying that you can't play it off the body. Let's see what happens here. It's allowed in football, but not not tennis, unfortunately. Right off the wrist. A little handball action there from Draper. Yellow card. Yellow card. First little look here for yeah. Draper. A couple of mistakes from Mahach as well. That's his ninth unforced error. I don't think he had that many in his whole match against Gofan. Oh boy. Great serve though. Followed 15, in, had everything 14. set up. Mistake and Draper gets New himself a break of serve. First few cracks appearing Draper in the Czechs game, and Draper is quick to take advantage.
time. Some of the fans really enjoying themselves here on Labor Day in New York. Some great looking hats in attendance. Here on Armstrong Stadium, Draper has got 4-3, and he's got the serve. I feel like that that last game that Draper broke it was almost a little bit of a gift feel like he stole it Mahach gave him a couple of freebies there but again you got to credit Draper for just putting that extra ball in play but didn't feel like he did anything special there he's got to feel good about that It up the line. That was impressive. Yeah, and that's 15 old. the problem there is that's one of Mahach's best shots, this backhand cross court, and he can pull you off the court. But the bad news is that's to Draper's forehand, and he has a little bit extra reach running out to that forehand side, and probably one of Draper's best shots, the forehand on the run. We've seen a couple already this first set. And again, because Draper has been so solid throughout this first set, it's forcing Mahaj to maybe go for a little bit more than he's comfortable with. I think Mahatch was just taking a, a quick glance back at Draper, who is just, did he roll his ankle a little bit here? Or did he land in an awkward way? Just on the right foot. Yeah, nice serve. It was on this very court. Carolyn the, the third point of her singles match against Jasmine Paolini, and she injured her foot. Unable to continue, so after three points, Paulina was able to advance. Yeah, so good again. That Game lefty slider Draper. out wide, and he does such a good job, Draper, of falling that in. Draper leads by Just a natural play for percent. almost all lefties. That slider out wide, following it in. And again, he'll be happy to take that out of the air and volley it, but that one. Short and he took that really early. Didn't want to give Mahach a chance at having a look on that back end. Thought maybe he was going to take his time to that, maybe wait and see which way Mahach was going to go, but took that really early, Draper. Seem to make a mistake the first two or three yeah. games, and now suddenly he's really struggling. Yeah, it's a good slice. We haven't Love seen too many 13. slices from Draper. That one very effective. Low skidding into the Mahaj backhand. Surprised that his shot before landed in. Looked like he was just kind of waiting to wait for the out call. And yeah. Surprised. He had a sitter forehand there. 
Yeah, that's what these guys are looking for. They're sparring from the back, yeah. hoping to find something short. That's what he got. Buried it in the net. Ooh, that's a great shot. He buried that backhand right in the corner. Yeah, and that was so smart, Mahach. I would say eight out of ten times Draper is going to go cross court on that. Mahach was anticipating that. You see how Draper goes behind him on this backhand. He's on the run. Definitely normally would go cross court, but sees Mahach already moving. Really smart play from Draper. Oh. 13 14. All right, he's got a second set point here. Trigger missed it wide. And yeah, Mahach handled that slice a lot better this time. Went slice to slice. Draper just getting a little bit ahead of that one. Really trying to put that one away and get on the outside of it. Right? I, yeah. I think it's a good play for Draper because even if Mahach makes that, he's got to lift it. And then it's going to be right in the strike zone for Draper and he can drive through it. I wouldn't say that Mahach is a natural pace generator. Right. right? I mean, exactly. Particularly on that backhand, and that low ball doesn't give him a lot to work with. Advantage, Draper. We'll certainly take that. Six to three. Cap six three. And serving first here in the second. Ooh, he was there. Love 15. This bit of defense from Mahach. Great year for Draper this year, having broke through, won his first title in the grass courts in Stuttgart, Germany. I'm sure he doesn't mind the speed of these hard courts here in New York. They're pretty fast. So he likes a court that takes the pace well. Fifteen one. Mahach going to want that one back because he played an excellent point again. I feel like he set himself up a couple times, Leaf, where He's done everything right and then just not executed the final shot. He's done a couple overheads and that volley right there. Maybe not 100% comfortable at the net. Draper, if you're Draper, you've got to take notice of that. The other thing that I've noticed that Draper's doing, especially in that point, is he's going down the middle of the court a lot, really taking away the angle from Mahach. 
It's a smart play, especially on that forehand side. He drives it through the court, and Mahat's trying to go down the line almost like an inside-out backhand there. Really difficult shot. Smart playing from Draper. A little closer than he would have liked. What's the number one rule about a drop shot? You can't miss it wide, right? But that was a little closer maybe than yeah. what he would have liked. Don't miss it wide. Don't miss it in the net. <laughs> yeah, the wide one would bother me more. <laughs> Forehand drop shot this time. He's got it all going on. He's striding pretty confidently, and why not? First game, second sets. Some showing power on display and a bit of finesse. Yeah, showing off the hands there, Draper. This is a difficult shot on the forehand to hit the drop shot. He's moving away from it. And then sometimes you've got to change your grip in the middle of the backswing, but he hits it with the forehand grip. That had a little side spin on it, too. Yeah, that's five straight games yeah. for Draper. So he's got a good run going on. And that's a great feeling as a player. You've, momentum is one of the most powerful forces in sport. Clearly in Draper's favor at the moment. What can Mahach do here? What, what, what's he need to get on the board and get things going? Well, I think he needs to be, get the consistency going again and stop trying to go for too much too soon and try and extend these rallies. At the beginning of the match, he was having these long rallies and was really in control. Now I feel like he's getting into the Draper game and trying to go for winners. Well, that's obviously not going to help. 15. is not somebody that really talks a lot to his coach in the middle of the match, but he's having plenty of conversation right now. Yeah, Den Lovacic, uh, I mentioned earlier that he won Roland Garros doubles. He actually won two Roland Garros doubles title. Pretty impressive. Fifteen thirty. So the coach must have said, just step up to the line. <laughs> <laughs> Hit an ace down the tee. I don't think the coach said anything. No. I think he just listened. It's a good therapy session right there. <laughs> Worked out well. Well, you've got to know your player, don't you? Some coaches like to get a lot of words in. Others want to and understand what their player needs. Oh. Yeah, that's 30 all, so he gets back even. Team. Second double fault in the game. What a chance for Draper. Did not miss by yeah, much. Yes. Again, I feel like Draper was almost about to steal another game from Mahach. If you're Mahach now, the, the first serve has kind of gone away. Take a little bit off the first serve, hit an aggressive second serve, maybe put a little bit of spin so that you can get yourself in the point. You don't want to be playing defense off a second serve right off the bat.
Yeah, Draper doing a wonderful Advantage. job in that exchange. Draper. But he did take a little bit off that first serve, only 104 miles an hour, takes the pressure off the second. And I wanted to listen, but my check isn't very good, Lee. <laughs> yeah, there's, it's like they've got a different word for everything. The chance for Draper. Oh, okay. and he Draper. missed that forehand. Boy, that was a gift. Yeah. Again, Draper, if you're, if you're Draper you got a sense love. that Mahat Second is seven. definitely out of sorts right now, and he's showing frustration, which is something he really rarely shows. And you really got to take full advantage of this now if you're Draper. Foot on the gas. Uh, that exchange between player and coach not looking particularly positive. Fifteen love. Mentioned the title three. for Draper in Stuttgart. He beat three Americans there. He beat Marcus Caron, Brandon Nakashima, and Francis Tiafo. Of course, Tiafo into the quarterfinals here, taking out Alexei Poprin. there and that's the rally that you want to see Mahach get into right a again forehand to backhand and then make Draper go for that backhand down the line especially if you pull him off the court and that's what Mahach was doing early on in the first set and he kind of just veered away from it He's been going to the lefty slider out wide majority of the time on these big points. I got a feeling he's going to bring the heat down the tee right now. Oh, oh he's sticking with it. Just barely missing. Uh, 105, and yeah. that had a lot of slice to it. Lots of spin. And that's really the only Jeez. shot that Mahaj had from there. If you're Draper, you got to cover line. But I don't think he would have been in position to cover that one. That one started outside the doubles alley and curled its way in. What a return there for Mahaj. He was almost off the court in the corner. Right, just maybe getting a little ahead of himself on yeah. the yeah. Just his second double, but could prove costly. Where does he go with this first? He's been sticking with the wide one until he got beat. See if he changes it. He sticks with it. If it's not broke, don't fix. You make him come up with the goods. I love the servant volley on the second serve. Yes. 
great play there from Draper. Sees how far back Mahach is. Even if that went over, he would have had a pretty routine backhand cross court. Yeah, it shows he's thinking out yeah. there. This is again generating pace with the big swing, that whole body turn, the cores and activated, the rackets flying. A lot of good things happening there. Chance to get the three love. Okay, Draper. And another serve out wide, and he backs it up with another Draper, forehand three, winner. Love. Second set and one set to love. Four of those, three in this set alone. Three love. First game, second set. Time. Yeah, the USGA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center bathed in sunlight today. Fabulous day for tennis. Fourth round action as we're playing our way to the quarterfinals. It's an important day for these players. And great to have all of you along with us for this one. I'm Leaf alongside Jesse Levine, former Canadian Davis Cupper. Regular practice partner of Roger Federer. <laughs> There's a man who had a good forehand. We just saw Mahach play a nice forehand. Roger might have had the greatest forehand ever. Yeah, I, it's definitely up there. Delpo is up there too. Just 15 all. completely misfiring when he's getting these opportunities to really step in. Hasn't calibrated, right? It's, it's missing by a lot, too. It's not just you know, a couple inches here or there. It's, it's flying on him a little bit. I've been impressed with the Draper backhand today, Leaf. I, I feel like that was the rally that Mahach wanted to get into, but if you're Draper and you're winning these backhand to foreign exchanges or winning points off backhand returns, you got to be in a good place right now and feeling good about it. Nice point for Draper to win. 
30 all. That is 30 all. Yeah, oftentimes when I when I watch a lot of these European baseliners, if they start making unforced errors, I feel like it's an extension of their reluctance to play the transition game. You know, they're not as comfortable yeah. coming to the net, so they feel they have to hit a winner from the backcourt. Where maybe just a good deep approach shot, you know, test your opponent's ability to pass, you know, hit a volley. Maybe they're not comfortable doing that. <laughs> That time he finished at the net. That was a good angle there from Mahaj. Those are the points that Mahaj is capable of playing on a consistent basis, too. He really can step up to the baseline and get Draper on the move. And that volley didn't clear the net by much. You can tell he's not so comfortable at the net right now, Leaf. And he needed that one. Gary Mahaj. Draper lead three games to one. Second set. Yeah, that was a run of seven consecutive games. Finally stopped by the Czech man. USopen.org is your online home for point by point live scoring, highlights, real time stats, and draws. Visit the official tournament site at USopen.org. Draper is liking that play going down the middle of the court, right? He hit four or five shots in a row right down the center to try and force Mach to go for something that he's not comfortable hitting, and he's staying with it. Side too, you can see how much safety Draper puts behind his ball. He puts a lot of margin high over the net, and it really comes down. It's a heavy ball, and then you saw him drive through that one. A couple of balls before that had like good clearance over the net, and it makes it tough for Mahach to deal with. And now you can see how much movement the serve has on it from that angle as well. Starts off. In the do side and curls all the way to the opposite side. It's an incredible lefty slider there from Draper. It's hard to catch up to that. Yeah, you can, can't. See if he goes slider again. <laughs> serve and volley, second serve, Lee. 40 love. I bet he goes wide again. 40, 15. Yeah, he was starting to feel it. And obviously, when you're up a set and a break, 40 love, you you can play pretty freely. Swing aggressively. You've got a little bit of wiggle room. All right. Showing off some work at the Game net. Driver. Draper leads four games to one. Labor Day Monday at the U.S. Open. One set to love. Jack Draper is working hard. Six three four one.
time. Yeah, so far, Jack Draper's in command here on Armstrong. 6 3 4 1. We'll see if Thomas Mahach, the 23 year old who plays his tennis out of Prague, can muster up something of a comeback in this set or even the match. Just wonder if he's running out of ideas. We'll see what he's got here in game number six. Yeah, that's a sweet look at backhands. You mentioned Mahach playing and winning the mixed doubles at the Olympics. He also played in the singles, lost in the second round to Sasha Zverev. A Zverev a winner yesterday over Brandon Nakashima. So Zverev into his fourth consecutive U.S. Open quarterfinal. He's looking good. He plays Taylor Fritz. Wow. How about that? One-handed back end slice angle winner there from Draper on the slide, too. Pretty much the only shot he had, too, really. he, or he could have lobbed it. But again, how about this angle that he puts on it? Almost a no look. I, was... th I think that one's going to make the highlight yeah, reel. Yeah, that should be. <laughs> that was really good. Oh! 13-14. Five double faults and a, a chance for Draper to get his fifth game. Oh. Oh. Okay, Draper. And he'll take it. Draper leads five games to one. Second set. Now this is, I, I've never seen Mahach get this animated out there. Well, the frustration is yeah. pretty apparent. That score line is going to make you feel it. Draper's feeling it right now. Can swing a little bit more freely when you have a couple breaks in hand. I'll leave. Great job. It's nice to be playing ahead in the score, but you still got to knock down the shot. I think that forehand—it's a dependable weapon. Yep. 
He's got five forehand winners this set. The first serve percentage for Japer, though, this set has gone down. He's only at 50% in the match 49. That's the only number that I feel like he needs to raise. But if you can hit shots like that, you can rely on that. You don't need to make as many first serves, but you don't want to have to be doing that time and time again. But, I mean, the, the amount of winners on the on the run that Draper has hit is incredible. He's so good out of the corners. Yes. I wonder if that's because maybe he doesn't have as much faith in his movement. Does he feel like he has to go up for a lot in the corners? Right side. Oh. Or is that, you, maybe you disagree yeah, with Yeah, no, I don't disagree with that. I, I think he doesn't want to get into the long extended Relax rally. So when he gets go. pushed into the corners like that, he wants to go and, and end the point. And obviously he's been having a lot of success with that. So I think just keep going with what you're doing right now. And he has hit some fabulous shots today. Yeah. Forty, oh. thirty. You know, some guys go into the corners and you know they loop it back yeah. deep and they stay in the rally. Other guys get into the corners and and they accelerate and make things happen. He seems to be that kind of guy. Yeah, and he can he can use his hands as well. He's he's hit a couple of slice backhands and he's flattened it out. And he's hit a, maybe only one or two loopy ones to get back into the point. Let's. Oh, thought he finished it. He was going big up the tee there, Leaf, in the big points. We haven't seen him go tee yeah. very much. I mean, another guy who I think does big out of the corners is Taylor Fritz. Yeah. You know, maybe not a brilliant mover, but accelerates but, well from defensive positions. But Fritz and Draper, they, they both move better than what you think, but I think it's their anticipation that is so good. Oh, no. Game and second set, Draper. Well, Jack Draper has played two wonderful sets. All right, back on Armstrong and Thomas Mahach. Third set. So Mahach first Schiffer. in the third set. La 15. Yeah, Mahach was up 3-2 in the opening set. And you can see from the scoreline, not much has gone his way since. And with the way the match started in the first four or five games, I thought it was going to be really physical. Fifteen thirty. Draper right now, if you're him, you got to stay on top of Mahach. This is a huge moment in the match. He's already down two sets, and he feels like maybe he's giving him a couple freebies. you got to do everything you can to put every ball in play now if you're Draper. I mean, because he's missing routine shots now. And Draper doing a really smart job now of that forehand lifting it high over the net, angling it off the court, making Mahach hit shots that he's definitely not comfortable hitting right now. Draper's yeah, just Draper. chipping returns now, waiting for the errors. First game, third set. Now we can sort of look at Mahach's run here and say that yeah, he's never been this deep at the U.S. Open before. Maybe a little bit of fatigue, but better to focus in on Draper and 
the possibilities inherent in this run he's creating. Now, I, I don't think, I wouldn't say fatigue, maybe mental fatigue, because they've both gone through the first three rounds without losing a set. And here he is again, having a tough conversation with the coach. continues to have long impassioned discussions with his coach and I don't think that's been to his advantage nothing good has come from no. those he hasn't been able to improve his play or his attitude that's a tough spot to be in if you're his coach too right you, you don't want to say too much and frustrate your player even more but also you don't want to just sit there and take it right it's it's a fine line you want to try and motivate them because look yes you're down two sets in a break but we've seen bigger comebacks than that before and there's a chance that Draper could get a little bit tentative as this third set goes on start thinking about it But if your opponent keeps Put giving you those freebies, it could be smooth sailing for Draper if he stays on it. The first serve percentage again, that's the key for Draper in this set. As he can, if he can get two to three free points like that, a game he's going to hold pretty comfortably. Love service game. Which you love. Two games to love. Continuing Third set. to do good things. Maybe Mahach can think back to his first round Wimbledon match. He was supposed to take on Andy Murray, if you remember. Andy Murray oh, yeah. withdrew. And instead he played David Goffin, who was a lucky loser. He was down love five yes. in the fifth set. He was also down two sets to love. And he was down to service break a couple of times in the third set. Came back and won it. And we talked about that in the last match because he played Gofan again. And we said maybe uh, at some point it could flip because he was up two sets and breaks on Gofan. Maybe that would creep in his mind, but. Oh. Now that's a great thing about the tennis scoring system. You can be down five love and you're, you're saying there's a chance. There's <laughs> still a chance. But it can be done. Oh. I've done it before, but oh, in juniors. <laughs> Five love, 40, 15, down third set. Wow. Finals of 14 clay courts. You remember it, right? I bet you the guy who had the lead, maybe he's forgotten it. He doesn't want to remember well, He's that. definitely not forgotten it. <laughs> Okay, All right, Mahach is on the board. Maybe that's a start of Great something for the 23-year-old who has struggled to find his best tennis, but maybe it's ahead of him. Draper up in the third.
time. All right, Jack Draper's got himself in a winning position. Up a couple sets and up a break in the third. To try to keep the ship steering towards home. And not sure I like that ball that Draper came in on Leaf. Not really Love in position 15. to come forward on that. He didn't hit a a great approach gave Mahacha a really good look at a passing shot. Puts it low first, then passes on the next one. Smart play there from Mahacha, not trying to go for the pass right off the first one. Oh, wow. That is the, the perfect speed for that slider out wide. 96 miles an hour. Almost got it into his player box there. Yeah, that's almost unreturnable yeah. by anyone. In that rally right there, I feel like that's the advantage that Mahaj has. If he can get into forehand and backhand all day and try somehow to get into that pattern. We talked about that in the first two sets and he hasn't been able to do it. That time, he stayed patient, didn't change direction too soon. Good change up there from Draper. What would you say? I would say maybe 90% he's going slice out wide. Yeah, and then when and he, the yeah. T is so, you can't read that. No, that's what that's what makes his serve even that much more effective because you can't read the toss. He can go either way with it. Oh. Yeah, back to the bread and okay, butter Draper. again. <laughs> it's just so good. Three, even though Mahaj can even start Draper. waiting out there, it just makes it so difficult when you have no play, right? The only play Mahat really had there is to go high lob or down the line, and then he opens himself up. He continues this move to finish this off in straights. Stay connected to the U.S. Open on Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and WhatsApp. Join the conversation with hashtag U.S. Open. This is, I would say, must-hold territory for Mahaj if he wants any chance to making this comeback. He's used the drop shot so well. I mean, Mahach wasn't even able to make a move to that. Yeah, no. I, again, I love this drop shot from Draper, and he makes it look pretty easy. A lot of guys, when they hit a drop shot on the forehand, we talked about this, they change grips. Draper keeps the same grip, so he disguises it so well. 
Fifteen thirty. talked about some of the riders, their perceptions about Draper. One rider said about Mahach, he's the king of the short shorts. <laughs> he is wearing the very short shorts, along with Holger Runa, Tommy Paul, some of the guys are... Well, I think Mahach takes the yeah. takes the trophy. <laughs> and he rolls them up, too. He rolls them up, yeah. That's you. A good depth there. Yeah, he's got his own sense of style. Maybe... Is he trying to intimidate with the, the quads, the strength <laughs> of his quads? This is one of the British greats, Tim Henman. I want to say semifinals here at the U.S. Open. I know he was semifinals at Roland Garros. Obviously, Wimbledon a number of times. Forty thirteen. Well, certainly the hopes are high for British tennis with Jack Draper at the top of the list currently. Yes. Yeah, Dan Evans was for a long time the top Brit, but Draper has now made some moves currently at 25 in the ranks, but he'll go up a little bit higher if he can continue winning like this. This is almost a match point right here, Leaf. Two breaks. The way Drake, Draper's been holding serve and raising his first serve percentage this set now to 60%. Point for another break of serve. Draper leads for Stone Cold look too. No two reaction. Time. The blazing sun here on Labor Day in New York. It's shining on Jack Draper, who's been playing brilliant tennis. Certainly reflected in the scoreline. 6 3, 6 1, now 4 1 in the third. Let's get a look at this setting here in Armstrong Stadium, named after the great jazz trumpeter and vocalist Louis Armstrong, resident of Queens, and now forever immortalized in this great tennis court. There, Mahach. A good pickup there from Draper. That was a tough volley. Pretty good approach shot. This volley right here, that was difficult. 
did well to angle that off the court, but gave Mahaj too much of an angle. Yeah, That's snap that whip. cross court. Yeah, a whip on that forehand from Draper. Let's go. I love Coach James still firing up Draper. We've seen a couple of those. Yeah. 15 full tree. I mean, now if you're Mahat, you're just swinging for the fences, right? You're down two sets, one two breaks. Time. First one, Jack. You got to go for it Here now. Almost like he needed this to start swinging freely. I think so. Yeah. Such a good serve. Oh! Well, he goes big down the yeah. center, maybe even into the body a little bit. I do love the second serve in volley. Yes. Tim Hedman approved of that play. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Hedman was uh, a Stefan Edberg style server and volleyer. Coming in and playing those first volleys so well. Loaded that drop shot a little bit too much. Thought Mahach was going to have a play on it. But just put enough angle and enough spin to where Mahach had to lift it up and give Draper a really simple look at a pass there. Smart play going behind him. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. A great pass there for Mahach. He didn't have a lot of room, but he found just enough space there cross court. Showing off the good wheels and the good hands. of double faults in this game. Nice and tall. Here we go. Oh. 
Yes. I like that from the coach. Yeah. Nice, nice and tall. <laughs> so good. And again. Six, four, tall. Let's go. To be exact. Yeah, the taller you can be on your serve, the better angle you have down into that service box. Oh. That's a good eye. And I feel like this is really the first game where we've seen Draper. maybe a little bit of signs of Draper being tentative. He's thinking about it a little bit, two sets, two breaks. Huge opportunity to go to the quarterfinals, and now he's doing a good job of getting out of a couple break points. And the serve really helped him get out of trouble. Obviously, that one volley, but see if he can get out of this game. Okay, yeah, Draper. Well done there from Draper. Draper leads five games to one. And that's why you get that insurance Good break, set. though, Leaf, so you can still play a little bit freely and not be as tentative. Because he was thinking, okay, yes, worst case, I get broken here. I'm still up a break and can focus right back to it. But uh, well done there from Draper to get out of that game. Yeah, despite the difficult day for Mahach, he's going to move up in the ranks. And along with Jakob Mensik, 18 years of age, Yuri Lehechka, 22. But plenty of great players out of Czech Republic. Who are going to continue to impact this game. I mean, Lehechka, he won his first title this year. Mensik, just 18. And he's had some good runs this year, oh, too. He had a good run here. But he lost that match to Borges. He had, had three match points. Yeah. yeah well, you got to chalk that up to experience. Yeah. And he'll use that as fuel next time. 15 30. A rare miss off that forehand side. The Czechs have always had great players, it seems. You know, Thomas Burdick was sort of the last top tenor. Is Stepanek. Radek Stepanek, Karol Novacek, Peter Korter, of course. Seb Korter's dad. Yes. Such a rich tennis history for, you know, I want to say a small European country, but obviously not the size of the U.S., but they seem to always continually generate players. On the women's side as well, Carolina Mahova winning here earlier. She's in the quarterfinals, having taken out Jasmine Paolini. takes care of his serve. That's the second game on the board. Good he hasn't produced many of them actually since off. that opening five games, but Jack Draper is going to serve for a spot in the quarterfinals. All right, Jack Draper. Sitting comfortably now, just a game away, so he'll step up to the line and try and book his spot in the quarterfinals. Biggest and best result he's had in a major and at the U.S. Open. 
No, Leif, I like how Draper played that last game, even though he didn't win that game to break and win the match, he still played aggressively. And before you're about to serve out a match, it definitely can help when you swing a little bit freely and let those nerves out a little bit. If you play a tentative game, it can carry over into trying to serve out a match. Deal with that let court. 15 love. He's got the intensity look right now, Lee. He is dialed in, Draper. Good approach shot here. Went hard to the Mahaj forehand. Thought that he was going to have an easy volley, but that was a lot more difficult than expected. Another British player, a left-hander who had a great serve that carried him pretty far was Greg Ruzetsky. I mean, he had a great serve. I feel like Draper's serve can even get better than it already is. I mean, he's still young, still getting a hang of this winning big matches thing. There, Leaf. I feel like that was maybe a little bit of a checkout. Didn't want to stay in that rally. 15 14. Trying to end the point a little bit early there, Draper. The great backhand here. This right there left that floating way too high. Yeah, that was almost an invitation for Mahach to come forward and eventually win the point. Couple break points. Good play. I feel like every time Draper's yes. been down in the game on that ad side, he's gone to that bread and butter lefty serve out wide and followed it in with a serve and volley. What a great play. Really not much that Mahach can do there other than maybe try and squeeze it down the line and thread the needle, but well done there from Draper. And that is Draper. <laughs> He's pretty happy with himself that he made a first serve there. <laughs> He'll take another one of those right now. Think he goes T again or he's going to stick with it? Oh, you've been off on this side. Let's see if he rips it again. Yeah, he was going for it. He wanted to finish in style. Stylish backhand gets it done. 
Jack six, Draper. Three, six, one, six, two. The Brits into the quarterfinals. Elite. He'll be really happy with that performance today. So solid, and he's going to stay above the charts on the top of the list with service games won this year at the U.S. Open. He didn't get broken one time today. He saved all the break points that he faced. Looked extremely solid. A couple times, maybe a little bit nervy at the